Hey, I'm Kenneth Weidstra. I'm a professional photographer here in Colorado. Welcome to another one of my photo talks about gear and what I use, real world experiences. So if you're going into a city, you're going into a place where you don't want to be carrying the hottest brand new billing handbag that looks like you just bought it off the counter at Leica. You don't want to be advertising, hey, look at me, I'm a photographer full of expensive gear. There are alternatives. This last weekend at a local event called the Super Duper Garage Sale, which was an indoor event at the local fairgrounds, somebody had this Eddie Bauer bag. And what's nice about it is it has three clips. If I can do this while I'm talking. It has three clips like that that hold those front pockets down. And each one of those fits a Leica with a collapsible lens. And then the rest of the bag, you can put a, I'll put a Domkey insert in here, and I can put lenses in an SLR if I want. Nobody is looking at this bag and saying, hey, wonder what kind of cameras he has in there. The strap was, I like, I always like straps that aren't those nylon straps that you see on a lot of low pro bags. And this strap had a bunch of, fr a little freight area, which is why I said, hey, how about, they said, how about 10? I said, how about five? It's got a freight area. They're like, yeah, sure five bucks and it's completely like as strong of a of a strap like i like on a domkey bag it's made of the same material like a like a cotton and the bag looks like nothing nothing nobody is looking at this bag and thinking that you have anything of value in it and they might think you have a computer in it because it does have a computer size but nobody is stealing our computers anymore because they all have passwords and nobody wants that but cameras are the thing that you know people are drawn to oh i've got to get that i got to take that camera you hear all these stories in san francisco and in other large cities about you know photographers being followed and their gear being stolen and it sounds horrific and we have to be smart i certainly never leave any gear in my car except for that lens in my cup holder which is covered by a hat but there's no reason to leave gear in our cars and that kit lens in my car is worth $75, if that. So it's a risk I take. But other people will say, oh, I lost all of my stuff in my car. But it's like, well, where was it? It was in a parking garage. Really? Why would you leave your stuff in the car in the parking garage? Nothing stays in the car in the city. Everything has to come out. And if it's annoying to have to take it in and out just for a quick run, well, too bad. We have to take our stuff in. We have too much good gear. And it's stuff that we spend a lot of money on. It's stuff that has a lot of value to us as personal gear. So don't be a victim of laziness and leave your stuff in the car. Don't carry a camera that, or a camera bag that shouts, hey, look at me, Let's, we're all making photographs here with the best quality equipment possible. Because I think photographers don't realize, but thieves have picked up on the fact that the red dot on the camera is a sign of value. And that Billingham bag has a special look that doesn't look like everybody else's camera bag. So there's something special there. And I know when I'm walking through the streets of Denver and I see somebody with a Billingham bag, I'll always approach them and say, hey, what you got in there, Leica? And I'll have a camera out so they know I'm not trying to attack them. But I'm just looking for conversation. But the, but the bag makes the conversation. It's so obvious that they're carrying some kind of a camera in there that's probably not a Canon Rebel. And again, you're going out, you want to make a no impression at all. Don't wear your fanciest clothes. Get a ratty old bag. It might look ratty, but with a Domkey insert and those three front pouches, you can do a lot with that. And five bucks. That's the other benefit of going to yard sales and those kinds of sales. Five dollars gets you a lot. All right. That's today's photography talk. Be smart. Hey, if you're enjoying this, hit the subscribe button. If you can support, hit the Patreon, and I'll be back next time. We'll talk more real-world gear. As always, here's the good light.